Good morning, YouTube. It is my day off, and your girl got a little fancied up, you know? Sometimes you just need to do your makeup, and like, yeah, just feel like a beauty guru, drinking some Gatorade, but I'm about to go get my favorite Starbucks drink. I've gotten Starbucks like three days in a row, but I really don't care. I get my phone charger. I'll be right back. Um, yeah. I I drink way too much Starbucks, but you know I could be doing worse things with my life. But oh, excuse me. That was not very ladylike of me. I took etiquette classes by my mother. My mother taught me etiquette, and that was not a part of the etiquette courses I grew up with. Um, so I apologize. Anyways. This is hands down the best Gatorade flavor. Glacier Freeze. This and grape are my two favorite. You know, I am the Cherry Glacier. I think it's like the white one. Those are my three favorite. Bomb. But yeah, I'm gonna go get Starbucks. I got a free... Well, not free, but like I got a $20 gift card from H&R Block. I did my taxes with them and I like used some referral system they have and I keep... I got like two $20 gift cards to Starbucks. So I've been drinking a lot of Starbucks. And honestly, I'm not complaining because, like I said, I love Starbucks. But, um, yeah, I mean, I had to pay to get my taxes done, so that's why I say it wasn't technically free, but whatever. I'm not complaining. Um, I always get a Trenta iced black tea with, um... With no water, no sweetener, light ice, add mango dragon fruit refresher juice. It is so good. Best drink ever. Who else just like chews on candy canes? I don't suck on them, I chew on them. Oops, I dropped a piece somewhere into the abyss of my room. I have a lot of reading to do today though. I just want to check in with you guys. It's been a while since I've made a video. And I honestly miss it. I miss doing funny things on YouTube like my cough drop taste test. That was funny. My bread taste test. Funny. You know, it's the kind of stuff I like to do, and I miss doing it. Maybe sometime I'll do, like, a funny video where I'm like, ooh, Gatorade taste test. But that would involve buying a lot of Gatorade. Honestly, I might be down because I really like Gatorade. I wouldn't mind buying a bunch of Gatorade. Um... I've been working again. Whoa. I've been working again, and that's been really fun. I missed it a lot. I love my job. You know, life without work is not a life. It's called just sitting there, not having a life. You know, I love working. It gives me drive and motivation to do things in this world that help not only myself out, but others as well. And also, I love working in customer service. Excuse me. Obviously, there's a lot of downsides to it, like having to deal with, like, with people who are very dissatisfied and not the, um, the happiest sometimes. But there's, you know, there's also those moments that I really value. Like, you know, when I get to make people happy and I, like, you know, make people laugh and make my customers happy and 
give them recommendations on what products to try and what foods to eat at my restaurant. You know, those are the parts of customer service that keep me in customer service industry is like the sole purpose of just making other people happy. I love that. Couple of my coworkers have been like, How are you, why are you so happy? Like, I'm like, why are you so nice to them? The customers, I'm like, I know, it's because you were a manager, huh? I mean, that's part of it. I, I was a manager, so like, I kind of had to like, always be very like, customer service-y all the time. But honestly, that's just how I am by nature. Like, I love talking to customers. Um, I just love it. I love talking to people. That's the thing. I'm really social and I'm like super like social butterfly. So like I talk to customers instead of talking to my coworkers so I don't get in trouble. That's part of the reason. And also I just love meeting new people and it's really fun. Some lady was showing me her dog yesterday in the drive through at work and I was like, your dog is so cute. That's another reason I love my job, because a lot of people come through the drive-thru with their dogs, and I'm just like, your dog is so cute. Like, I've seen so many cute dogs recently. <clears throat> I love it. But anyway, um, I'm just so hyper today. Um, I'm really hyper. I woke up at 5 a.m. We were just... Oh no, I remember why I woke up at 5 a.m. I forgot to turn off my alarm. I had my alarm set for 4.30. And I totally forgot to turn it off before I went to bed. So I like woke up and I was like, fuck. It's 4.30 a.m. and I'm here awake. But it's okay because I slept until 5 instead. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Um. Maybe I set my alarm for five on per, I don't, know, I don't even know. My alarm was set basically for a really early time. And I was like, why did I do this myself? But somehow I'm here, I'm awake and I'm now very hyper because that's usually what happens to me. It's like, I'll wake up and I'm tired for like 30 minutes. And then once I'm awake, I am just like, I am awake, you know? Once the beast has awakened, there's no putting that beast back in the cage. That's how I am. I tried making like a breakfast burrito this morning. And so I like put some oil in the pan to make my hash browns. And I thought I was gonna have a lot of hash browns left to like cook in the oil. So I used a lot of oil. And I literally had, like, no hash browns left. It was, like, probably, like, a fourth of a cup of hash browns. Maybe even less. Like, a tablespoon of hash browns left. I was like, are you freaking kidding me? And so I just used, like, way too much oil. And I was like, this is a recipe for too much oil. <laughs> it's, like, one of my, like, pet peeves is cooking with too much oil. It, like, creeps me out because... The texture of oily food just is like really gross to me. Like, overly oily and greasy food grosses me out so much. Like, sometimes I'll get Mexican food and I'll get burritos and I'll just have like grease just dripping out of it. And I'm like, ugh. It tastes good at least, but I just try to ignore it. So I'm like, yo, this is so greasy. I'm gonna break out. Ah. I had a dream last night that I like married this guy who was like really shorter than me and like way skinnier than me and just like t way smaller than me and it was just so awkward and I didn't want to marry him but then I like got really nervous so I said yes because I didn't know what to say 
which is like, why would I do that? I don't know, but this was a dream, thank God. And the next day, I was like, I need to get a divorce. I'm like, I woke up. I was like, why did I say yes to begin with? It was a really weird dream. And all morning, I just was like, oh my gosh, like, I'm just never gonna get married now. Like, I was like, kind of like freaking. I was like, oh my gosh, like, this is what it's like to get divorced. But in all actuality, most people don't marry someone they're not attracted to. So I don't think that's ever really gonna happen to me. And also, it was a dream. Like, I wouldn't marry someone who's like way smaller than me, way skinnier than me, and just like some old scrawny man like that just it'd just be a very awkward pairing for me because I'm like I mean I'm not like a big girl I'm just a little bit thick so like I don't know I like it when a guy is like a little bit like you know taller than me a little bit buff because I'm like I don't know I can't date scrawny men that sounds mean I can't date skinny men there we go because I, it just doesn't look right. It's like I'm, I'm thick, you know. I'm curvy, and like to be with someone who's way skinnier than me, just like it does, it looks very unbalanced. I don't like it. So yeah, that was a weird dream. A really weird dream. <sighs> I'm gonna get ready though to go to Starbucks. I need to like either change my shirt or change my pants. And I think I might go with change my shirt because I like wearing these sweats with just like a black, a black long sleeve shirt. Because yellow and orange mm -mm, looks like ketchup and mustard. I am ketchup and mustard right now. Let's see? Ketchup and mustard. No to go. That is a fashion no go. Ugh. I couldn't imagine like myself wearing this out in public. These are my pajamas, that's for sure. Um, anyways, I'm gonna get ready. I need to. I feel like hearing a weird whistling noise downstairs all morning. It kind of sounds like um, like a tea kettle on the stove, like that. <laughs> Like when like you make boiling water in a tea kettle and it whistles. But this time it was like weird. My house is like wild sometimes. I love living here though, so I'm not saying it's bad. It's like wild in a bad way. It's just wild. But anyways, I'll talk to you guys later.